Karibu tena hapa Black Forex same sahi ambayo utajifunza especially kuhusiana na forex trading. My name is Flado FX. Na wiki iliyopita tuliweza kufanya analysis na signo zetu zilikuwa kama ambavyo unaziona hapo kwenye screen. Hiyo ilikuwa tarehe na saba na leo in short tutaendelea na analysis ni weekly signals and therefore ni signals ambazo una swing kwa maana hiyo kama una account ndogo it means lazima utumie lot size ndogo usitumie lot size kubwa because ni order ambayo ina run more than one day so leo uh, tutafanya analysis kwenye pair zaidi ya pair kumi Uh, zaidi ya pea kumi na unachokiona hapo ni matokeo ya wiki iliyopita uh, ni matokeo ya juma ilikuwa ni juma tano usiku simida ya satano hivi so kwa hali ambao wali cross hiyo siku I think hizi uh, pips ndizo ambazo wali chukua lakini pia kuna ingina ambao wali hold pengine mpaka leo I believe still wapo kwenye profit except Uh, gold ambayo uh, ilitokea news na ikaenda kinyume totally kabisa uh, na, na, na expectation zetu lakini we, kama uli close it means uli close na faida because uh, gold ina tabia ya uh, because ni commodity sio pair of currencies kwa maana hata tabia zake kidogo ni, ni, ni hata volatility yake inatofautiana kidogo na hizi pairs za kawaida kwa maana hiyo ikitokea news utakiwi kabisa kuwepo kwa ambao wali cross uh, before news walikuwa kwenye profit kubwa. Sijaangalia sasa hivi ipo wapi lakini I'm sure pia because upanda ambao ilikuwa inaelekea ilikuwa ni kwenye uh, HOD au peak formation high and therefore I'm sure ilikuwa ililudi. Na um, leo we are going to start with gold eh, kwenye analysis. Uh, hapa nimetumia my only strategy sijafanya sijatumia support and resistance lakini huko mbele utaenda kuona. Sasa before na kukumbusha wewe ambaye bado je subscribe to my YouTube channel, subscribe kwa kubonyeza ile neno subscribe hapo chini, then unaweza uka comment, uh, ukauliza ambacho pengine hujakielewa na nitakujibu hapa hapa. My own strategy uh, sifundishi bule ni dola mia So please ambao wananiomba, wananiomba it is not free. Lakini hizi signals zote natoa bure kabisa hapa hapa kupitia YouTube lakini pia kuna group ambayo natoa signal. I think video ya nyumo ukiangalia kuna link niliweka uh, niliweka. Unaweza ukaenda kwenye video ya nyuma before hii hapa ya analysis ya Jumapili iliyopita unaweza ukaikuta. So direct naomba nianze na analysis ya AUD CAD Australian dollar na Canada dollar. Uh, uh, ukiangalia ambacho tulifanya hapa ni kwamba Uh, ukiachana na FMR ambayo inaonekana hapa chini uh, tuna trend line ambazo ni za blue tuna support and resistance ambazo ni pink yeah. so what happens hapo uh, kuna trend line hapa chini ambayo unaiona okay the first trend line unaweza kuona sehemu ambazo ziliguswa then we have another trend line here ambayo ni very strong na unaona inaenda kugusa sehemu gani sasa something uh, which is very important hapa ukiangalia we have three market levels kutoka kwenye highest point hapo kwenye high of the day then hapa chini unakuja kuona kuna w formation na tayari inaonekana uh, market makers wameshafanya stop hunt hapa chini bila shaka unaona na hii ni h4 that means we are going to swing kwa maana hiyo hii hapa sio scalping kwa wale mnaopenda ku scalp this is not scalping So what will happen here? Kwenye hii pair ambacho kinaonekana was because tayari kuna W formation after three market levels. What will happen hapa tunaita uh, we are going to have a bullish movement and therefore on this week uh out card out CAD tutaenda kuibai. Uh, that is bullish kwa maana tayari inaonekana uh, kuna three market levels here lakini kuna W formation lakini pia my FMR down here. Uh, plus other uh, nilitumia pia BBMA inaonyesha wazi kwamba imefika kwenye peak formation row and therefore it must go up it must go up kwa hiyo ni lazima iende 
juu na kama unavyoona hapa chini tayari imekunja it seems kwamba safari ya kwenda juu ndio imeanza and therefore out CAD buy for this week uh, kuhusiana na news leo sijawekea news lakini make sure unapita forexfactory.com kuangalia news uh, the week hii uh, before uja, ujaweka order so make sure unakuwa very careful ukiingia uh, bila kufahamu news ambacho kinaweza ukakutana uh, nacho uh, unaweza ukashangaa kwamba uh, ambacho ulikuwa umetabili wewe sio ambacho kinatokea kwa sababu mara nyingi news ikija inaofanya kama ku disturb technical traders kwa maana hiyo lazima uangalie uh, so the best way unaweza ukai trade news kama news au uh, kwa maana hiyo kwa hizi hizi ni technical analysis cause it is not fundamental kwa maana hiyo kama umeweka order according to this uh, wakati wa news unaweza ukatoka uka close order zako lakini pia unaweza ukafanya analysis ambayo ni fundamental kuangalia kama inakuonyesha kwamba this bullish trend uh, je kinachoenda kutokea ni bullish au bearish yeah so audi cad buy another pair is uh, audi usd unaweza kaiona audi cad ambacho kime, kime, uh, audi usd time frame ya h4 unaweza kaona tayari yenyewe imesha ambao waliwahi hapa wamesha buy wamesha buy ambao waliwahi lakini ambao wamechelewa sio mbaya pia ambao wali buy uh, waliwahi it means kwamba what is going to happen here ni kwamba ambao wali buy kulikuwa tayari kuna formation of three legs 1 2 3 uh, uh, mean three market levels zilikuwa tatu kwa wale ambao wanatumia triple m strategy alafu baada ya hapo kukawa na formation ya half bat half bat ni one of the confirmation the triple m strategy ambapo uh, kuna shark fin shark fin kuna uh, uh, five thirteen close over moving average hizo yemwe uh, nyingine ni yo half batman na zingine zipo nyingi ambazo ni confirmation kuna idr pia unaweza kuzitumia ku confirm kwamba hapa kunaenda kuwa na rivers uh, reverse of uh, trend so ukiangalia sasa hii ilipo kwa sasa hivi nilichola hii trend line hapa chini kuonyesha kwamba kwa hii e, nilichola before that's why unaweza ukaiona hapa it means ni imesha close order lakini pia hapo hapa chini unaona kuna support hii support unayoiona ni kwamba kulikuwa na ugumu mkubwa sana wa hii kendo kushuka below this support yenye rangi ya pink kwa maana hiyo This was the point ambapo ulitakiwa ku buy exactly after just formation of uh, the bullish candlestick ulitakiwa ku buy na ambao wali buy from here to here uh, it is more than uh, it is more than uh, 300 pips yeah ni pips nyingi sana so yo sa- sasa ukiangalia sasa hivi hapa kwenye 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 current price ya market ukiangalia utaona kwamba kuna kuna kendo ambazo zinaonyesha tayari hapa kuna kizuizi uh, kuna kuna hapo kuna resistance na unaweza kuona kendo inajaribu mara ya kwanza imeshindwa mara ya pili imeshindwa so we can have a reverse or a retro bit and then the market will shoot up kwa maana hiyo the market will shoot up lakini after a short reverse kwa sababu inaonekana kuna support resistance and therefore hapa only aggressive traders wanaweza wakaingia lakini If your account is very small it's a good entry so subiria baada ya kwe itashuka chini ita bounce kidogo to this level then itaenda juu so wait for that before ujaingia so tunasema kwamba kwenye forex it is not the matter of uh, buying and selling lakini pia lazima we mtu ambaye una, unaweza kusubiria setup husika ambayo we umeichagua kwamba ikitokea hiki basi nitabai au nitaseli sio tu kitendo cha kubai na kuseli kwa maana hiyo sehemu kama hii uwezo kaenda direct ukabai japokuwa baada ya muda utakuwa kwenye faida lakini it depends pia na balance ya account yako kama balance ni ndogo it means utakuwa kwenye hasara mpaka ambapo pengine account yako itaweza ku blow so uh, this was out usd h4 time frame ya h4 na unaweza ukaona analysis ambayo tumeifanya leo. Ah, uh, nyingine ni GBP USD H1. 
unaweza kuona hii this is one hour and therefore hii uweze kusema tu tai trade a whole day no 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 this is like uh, una unafanywa una just uh, half swing okay kiangalia juu kuna very very strong uh, resistance kwenye h1 nadhani hii pia nimeifanya kwenye h4 tutaenda kuona so kwenye uh, kwenye h1 unaweza kuona hapo kwamba already easily is the resistance hapo juu na kendo ndo zinaelekea upande huo it means kwamba you have to wait for the breakout na kama itafanya breakout it means you are take a profit must be kwenye hiyo uh, resistance hapo juu ambapo kuna conference pamoja na hii hapa trend line and therefore ikifanya breakout uh, you can buy if uh, ikifanya breakout you can sell na unaweza ka take a profit kwenye 1.26515 so that is very simple lakini ukiangalia hao FMR pia uh, analysis ambayo nimeifanya inaonyesha wazi kuna ugumu kubwa sana wa hii kuelekea juu kuna ugumu mkubwa sana wa hii kuelekea juu na hata ikielekea juu uh, inaelekea kwenye uh, what we call the peak formation high and therefore uh, itaenda distance kubwa sana uh, kwa maana hiyo wait for the breakout au pull back at this point Naomba tuelekee kwenye USD JPY unaweza kuona chart imebadilika kidogo hapo because I was trying to use uh, B, uh, nimefanya by BBMA unaweza ukaona hapo. So what was happening hapo kiangalia vizuri kwenye BBMA sasa inaonyesha kwamba we have uh, Boringa Bend ambayo ni ni momentum Boringa Bend kwa sababu inaonyesha tayari upper bend and lower bend zina move kwenye direction ambayo ni tofauti. Na kwa sababu hiyo it means kwamba uh, what will happen kuna formation ya kitu tunaita uh, CSM au candlestick momentum ambayo candlestick momentum ni one of the type ya re-entry mara nyingi tunafanya re-entry after formation of CSM after formation ya CSM ni sehemu ya kuingia lakini pia after formation of CSD ni sehemu ya re-entry re-entry ya tatu na ya mwisho huwa ni after the mid BB. So, uh, what is going to happen here? Tayari tuna CSM, maana yake kama ungekuwa umewahi kuingia ungeenda kuingilia kwenye kendo Ukiangalia kendo uh, una, una horizontal Boringa Bend bila shaka unaiona. Hiyo horizontal Boringa Bend before ijachanua hapa. So, hapo litakuwa kuingia kwenye uh, kwenye CSM. CSM ni hii kendo stick ambayo imetoka nje kwenye momentum boringa bend kwa maana hiyo ulitakuwa kuingia after the formation of CSM re-entry unge sell maana yake ungekuja ku take profit huku chini what is going to happen here ambacho kinaweza kikatokea hapa tunaona juu tayari kuna MA 5 and 10 zipo juu okay lakini zimesha fanya crossover ambapo MA 5 ime cross above M10 kwa maana ya kwamba kuna uwezekano pia kukawa na upward trend upward movement sawa lakini ukiangalia huko chini tayari we have uh, ini MA ya kumi na uh, MA ya tano ro zote zinaonekana zinaonekana ziko chini hapa ambazo zina act kama dynamic resistance it means kwamba kuna uwezekano mkubwa wa upward movement kutokea lakini ukiangalia pia this is a uh, uh, peak formation law that means kwamba Uh, the trend cannot go on haiwezi kaendelea kwenda chini itaendelea juu sasa huni uh, ambayo anaweza kufanya market maker hapa ni kuchukua zile stop losses zako kwa sababu anajua kabisa at this point wengi watabai pro traders watabai little traders ambao pia ndio wamefarm wanaweza wakabai so anachoweza kufanya anaweza akai twist kendo siki karudi chini to this point ili kuweza kuchukua zile uh, zile 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 stop loss akafanya stop and kwa maana hiyo lazima pia ufahamu hicho uh, so don't put your stop loss just very very close here kwa maana hiyo hapo utatakiwa ku buy because also our FMR unaweza kuangalia hata chini tayari tunaona imefika chini na kuambia buy so you can buy at this point so this week tunategemea USDJPY kutakuwa na high bullish movement buyers watakuwa na nguvu kuliko sellers for this week kwa maana hiyo at this point you can buy and this is the re entry 
uh, gold ambao nimeiluka kule niliwaambia nitaifanyia analysis uh, tumetumia BBM wewe unaweza kaiona wa FMR also shows us kwamba we are going to sell lakini ukiangalia vizuri juu by BBM wewe unaweza kaiona moving average uh, MA5 is out uh, unaweza kaiona MA5 is out na kama ipo nje it means at any time itarudi ndani na ikirudi ndani it is going to form uh, the what we call the extreme extreme tayari ishakuwa formed unaweza ukaziona hizo kendo ambazo zimetoka nje and therefore it is going to form MLV uh, market losing volume hapo ambayo itatengenezwa na it seems uh, tayari because unaweza kuona juu kuna MA5 MA10 and uh, yeah MA5 MA10 ambazo pia zina kama dynamic resistance and therefore what we are going to do uh, kutakuwa na uzuizi huko juu na what you have to do here is to sell that's why nimekwambia uh, for gold this week concentrate on selling remember always there is a stop wand kwa anaweza akafanya stop wand kwa kuiforce hiyo kendo iende juu above this kendo na ili aweza kupita na stop losses zenu lakini pia ukiangalia hapo tayari there is a formation of uh, m w pattern uh, i mean m pattern ambayo inamaanisha reversal kwa wengi ambao wamesoma triple m so au wamemsikiliza steve mauro so hapo it means you have to to sell yeah let me go to another pair this is audi chf uh, h4 ambacho unakiona hapa what is going to happen this is not hapa utakiwi ku, kukuwa na pupa I used also BBM way hapa uh, lakini na my FMR also I used it. Unaweza ukaona we have the horizontal we have the sideway mom, uh, sideway uh, Boringa bend hapa mwanzoni what is going to happen after sideway kuna kwa na formation inaanza kama kufanya kupacha fulani and therefore what is going to form here is a momentum Boringa bend and momentum Boringa bend um, mara nyingi katika momentum boringa bend tunakuwa na reentry kwa sababu kuna kwa na formation ya candlestick momentum CSM na unaweza kuona hapa the loss formation of CSM ambayo ilileta sasa mtu uh, ilisababisha mtu afanye reentry unaweza kuona kila moving average ziki move uh, i mean candlestick ziki move zinaenda kukutana na MA5 MA10 zinazuiwa kupita therefore zinarudi ndani and that is reentry so what is going to happen hapa uh, at this point tayari kuna formation ya half bat au wanaita W wengine unaweza kaiona vizuri hapo na tayari anaonekana market maker ameshafanya stop hunt kwa maana hiyo watu ambao wali, waliona imefomika hapa bila kusubiria the formation of the second leg walikuwa tayari wameliwa so what you have to wait hapa tayari kuna formation ya half bat na half bat kwa sababu imetengenezwa ambacho natakuwa kusubiria ni kwamba is it going to compete the second leg kwa hiyo natakuwa kusubiria mguu wa pili uweze kutengenezwa uanze kwenda juu na ukishatengenezwa mguu wa pili tu ikaanza kwenda juu what you have to do is to buy so wait for the second leg to be formed na hapo utasema tayari huyu amemaliza stop hunt yake so uh, on this week Audi CHF what you are going to do uh, buyers watakuwa na nguvu sana kuliko sellers for this week according to our technical analysis USD CHF H4 unaweza kaona um, it is BBM way tena nimeitumia ukiona natumia BBM way mara nyingi huwa naangalia uh, ukiangalia BBM way mara nyingi naitumia pale ambapo soko linakuwa kama lina volatility ndogo yani vile vikendo vinafomika vidogo vidogo sasa kwa sababu ni vidogo vidogo ni vifupi vifupi it means kwamba ukija ukafanya analysis kwa kuchole support resistance kidogo kuna kuwa na shida kwa sababu uh, kwa mfano kama hapa katikati unaweza kuona hata ukisema utengeneze channel ni channel nyembamba sana ambayo inatengenezwa within a, uh, just a single candle ambayo inakuwa ngumu wewe kudecide u buy au sell kwa maana hiyo sehemu kama hii ilikuwa ni vizuri ungetumia BBM way ingekuonyesha vizuri zaidi uh, so le, let's go and see here we are going to what are we going to do here we are going to buy first of all we are going to buy before to yafanya analysis why are we going to buy that is swali ambalo mara nyingi wanauliza it is not the issue of saying kwamba nitanunua au nitauza lakini issue ni kwamba 
umefanya vipi umetumia kigezo gani ku buy au ku sell so kwenye USD CHF we are going to buy for this week uh, ukiangalia hiki kilichotokea ni kama kwenye pair iliyopita tu ukiangalia they are just the same au CHF USD CHF zinafanana kabisa ukiziangalia vizuri unaweza kaona everything is the same sasa ambacho kimetokea hapa ni kwamba um, we have uh, the momentum boring bend na tayari uh, ambao waliwahi hapa walifanya kitu kinaitwa the entry after CSM the entry after CSM what happens e, kama ungeseli hapa it means ungekuwa kwenye faida uh, lakini hizo ni opportunity kwa hiyo kama upo sokoni that was your opportunity to sell lakini kama ulichelewa it means your opportunity ilikupita um hauzui kutumia support and resistance kwenye bbm way you can use them as long as uh, unaona kuna faida because hakuna restriction ya strategy kwamba hii hautumii hiki au hutumii hiki so also my own uh, strategy ilinionyesha kwamba nilitakiwa kubai hii strategy nitakufundisha for maximum of 5 days na it is 500 dollars so ina vitu vingi 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 sana unaweza ukasoma peke yake na ukawa trader mzuri because ndani yake ina vitu vingi vingi ambavyo in short ukisha visoma area to wave uh, triple m and others vitakuwa ni vitu ambavyo ni vya kusikiliza tu na ukavielewa so what you are going to do here kwa sababu tayari kuna formation ya we are going to have half bat because at this point tayari my FMR inaniambia mimi kwamba we have at the PFL and therefore it cannot keep on going down for so many pips ambacho natakuwa kufanya hapo natakuwa kusubiria the formation of the second leg kutengeneza half bat formation na half bat inatengenezwa after the formation of the second leg after the formation of the second leg so subiria just another bullish kendo ikisha tengenezwa ile bullish kendo uh, uh, immediately after formation of that bullish kendo uh, you can buy there let's go to another pair this is uh, audi jpy australian dollar japanese yen uh, naweza kuona hapa nilitumia bbm yen kaweka uh, chini kuna what you see there is uh, is what we call the the support so uh, my fmr iliniambia that you have to buy in h4 time frame ya masaa 4 so kila kende imetengenezwa kila baada ya masaa 4 uh, unaweza kaona hapo juu tayari we have um, tuna mid bollinger band okay we have a mid uh, bb we have a mid bb lakini kwenye mid bb kuna intersection ya 5 and 10 MA a high and therefore kama nilivyokuambia at this point we have something known as CSD uh, kwa maana hiyo hapo uwezo ukasema it na buy at this point at this point kama ungeingia ulitakiwa kuseli paka kwenye hii point ya chini ambayo ni MA5 ambayo ime inter MA5 low na MA10 low ambazo zina intersect and therefore uh, this setup hutakiwi ku buy direct that's why our FMR is not at that point haijatuambia kwamba to buy haijagusa kwa maana hiyo unatakuwa kusubiria after a downtrend after uh, e, e bearish candle itashuka chini then itafika kwenye hii level it is not necessary kufika hapa chini kwenye support lakini itafika mpaka kwenye hii level ya MA10 and MA5 ro then after reaching there maana yake hizo stack kama dynamic resistance zitaizuia kuelekea chini and therefore at that point unatakiwa ku buy so here only for aggressive traders unaweza uka buy direct lakini wewe kama unaona account yako ni dogo it means hii ni hatari because uh, sijui account yako ni kiasi gani balance kwa hiyo unatakiwa kufanya ambacho nimekuambia that was how this jpy h4 we are going on with our is our analysis and now we are going to USD CHF. Uh, USD CHF you can see uh, tayari tupo katika momentum BB na momentum BB inatuonyesha wazi kwamba watu ambao wamewahi it means wangeingia kwenye CSM pale wangeseli uh, they had more than 100 pips there lakini kumbuka hapa trend bado inaenda chini. So what you have to do hapa tayari inaonekana wazi BBMA inatuonyesha kwamba 
uh, u- kila zikijaribu kwenda juu zikendo 6 zinaenda kukutana na MY5 na MA10 na hivyo zinarudi chini so what you have to wait here ni formation ya the second leg lakini kuna support hapa chini and therefore kwa hii pair inaonyesha was there is possibility ya kwamba hizi candles kaendelea kwenda chini a little bit before the formation of the second leg so just wait for the formation of the second leg after formation ya second leg you will have to buy but for this week USDCHF will be a bullish trend so kutakuwa na bullish trend for this week and therefore buyers watakuwa na nguvu kuliko sellers uh, ni buying for this week kiangalia pea nyingi naanza kuona like uh, uh, ni bullish except gold this is bullish uh, okay yeah zingine ni, ni bearish too so out jpy usd chf and now let's go to euro gbp euro gbp unaweza kaiona we have a trend line there above uh, and that is tayari kuna wale wanaotumia triple m kulikuwa na formation of 1 2 3 1 2 3 uh, three levels have been formed what is going to happen hapa kinachoenda kutokea for this week you are going to have a bearish trend lakini hiyo bearish trend kwa sasa hivi it is uh, it is confirmed in bearish according to fmr lakini uh, inaonyesha was there is high possibility ya hii kendo kwenda katika trend line mstari wa blue na uona hapo uh, na hicho ambacho kitatokea kwenda kwenye mstari wa blue ataenda kufanya kitu kinaitwa stop point kwa hiyo watu ambao wameseli wakaweka stop loss zao pale juu wote wataenda kupitiwa na market maker and therefore it is bearish lakini you have to wait okay it, you have to wait na kama uta uta sell it means make sure your stop loss is not within range ambayo nimekuambia within range ya hiyo support so for euro gbp ni bearish trend for this week kwa sababu tumefanya analysis kwenye h4 pia uh, let's go to another pair faster ni NZD CHF katika time frame ya H4 unaweza ukaona na hii nimeituma pia kwenye group langu la forex and one of my student pia aliweza kunitumia analysis yeye alienda kuangalia hizi kendo chini nilimuuliza okay kwa nini umeamua kubai aliniambia because kaona kuna twist up candlestick pattern uh, candlestick pattern kwa hapa chini lakini pia zinazomaanisha kuna reversal na um, kitu kingine akasema kwamba it seems kwamba is candlestick tatu hizi uh, bearish candlestick tatu hiyo hizo be, tatu bila shaka unaziona hapo hizo green inaonyesha wazi kwamba uh, kulikuwa na very strong bearish that's why unaziona ziko strong ni ndefu na hii ya pili uh, sellers wakaendelea kuwa na nguvu then ya tatu inaonekana ilitengenezwa ikiwa na nguvu lakini baadaye wanaonekana buyers walikuja wakai uh, waka, waka overtake kwa sababu inaonekana was the force candlestick ni bullish and therefore what is going to happen inaonekana was kwamba uh, bulls au uh, buyers wanaanza ku gain momentum and therefore we are going to have uh, the upward trend a reversal trend lakini pia wale ambao wanatumia uh, triple m it is the sad uh, market level and therefore we are going to have a reversal our fmr inatuonyesha wazi kwamba we are going to have a reversal of the trend lakini pia our trend line ambayo mara nyingi inatumika kama kizuizi ipo at exactly at this point kwa hiyo ni pair nzuri zaidi ambayo unaweza kubai instantly hapa lakini ukiangalia vizuri tayari half but imeformika na unaona kabisa already a second leg imeshaanza kutengenezwa bila shaka unaweza ukaiona hapo a second leg half but unaiona it is like w flan lakini ambayo imeteleza kidogo uh, ukiangalia zile zile bottom zake zile bottom za w hazipo katika price moja zipo kwenye price mbili tofauti kwa maana hiyo tayari second leg imeanza kutengenezwa uh, kwa that uh, candlestick ambayo inaonekana hapa ambao ni bullish candlestick so our F- fmr shows us kwamba unatakiwa kubai so nzdchf it is a bullish trend you can take profit kwenye 065318 wanahitaji kufundishwa bbma pia na advanced not basic wanaweza wakanitafuta it is not free 
something that is free is here so kitaji vitu vya vya kufundishwa analysis uh, unaweza ukapita hapa katika my youtube channel this is how tunafanya analysis so mara nyingi take profit the best way ya kuchukua take profit zako ukiwa na wasiwasi sana unaweza kutumia bbm way na kuonyesha vizuri zaidi as we did last week uh, most of the orders tulichukua by bbm way uh, tuli take profit tulitumia bbm way lakini analysis atukufanya kwa bbm way hata moja so leo nimeona ni changanya kidogo kwa sababu pia ya muonekano wa soko ambalo limetokea li, 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 li so strategies you have to have uh, it is not the issue of having so many strategies lakini unatakuwa kuwa na strategies ambazo ni zina zinakuwa zi, 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 katika inaweza zikatumika same tofauti kwamba ikitokea soko lina li, li, very very low volatility linataka ku gain momentum uh, unatakuwa kujua kwamba strategy gani atakuwa kutumika pale ambapo kuna kuwa na trend kwa sababu sio kila strategy ni ni rafiki wa trend ni ni, ni rafiki wa trend zingine zinafanyika, zinafanyika tu pale ambapo kuna kuwa na trend ambayo inaonekana exactly lakini kuna zingine zinakubali whenever kuna trend ambayo inaonekana au imejificha still au inafanya consolidation uh, still inaweza ikatumika lakini remember always during a session uh, ni, ni wako na consolidation kwa muda mzuri na kushauri eh, ni after Asian session hapo unaweza ukaingia lakini pia muda huo wako kuna shift ya wale ambao wanafanya kazi uh, market makers so muda mzuri ni after uh, uh, soko la la la, 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 la Asia baada ya kuwa limefungwa lime so unaweza kaingia hapo kwa sababu always pale katikati kwenye gap pale there is always a very very rapid trend ambayo inaweza kawa hapo down downward and this is where most of the pro traders wanaingia hiyo ni entry ya traders wakubwa kwa uingi tu any time lazima uangalie pia na na bila shaka ambao wana trade wameshaona ikishaanza mida ya saa 3 saa 4 pale saa 5 ambacho kinatokea huwa kuna trend flani inaanza kutengenezwa unaweza kuona kabisa kwamba uh, zile candle sticks naanza kuwa na price fluctuation ambayo ni kubwa kwa hiyo unaweza kuona kuna kuwa na movement ya candle up and down katika speed ambayo ulikuwa uioni mwanzoni it means consolidation inaenda kuisha and therefore tunaanza sasa trend formation nyingine trend ya hiyo siku kwa maana hiyo mara nyingi katika consolidation kuna kuwa na formation ya w nyingi na M nyingi ambazo sio reversal patterns ambazo tunazitumia sisi. Kwa maana hiyo lazima uwe makini. Sio kila W na M unaweza kuitumia tu kutrade. Lazima uwe makini angalia session usika lakini angalia pia half bat, uh, shark fin, uh, unaweza kuangalia vitu vingine ambavyo ADR of the day au ya, ya wiki kumi wiki nne zilizopita ambayo itakupa confirmation ya kwamba je hii pair kwa siku uh, inatakiwa kuingiza maximum of how much ni average ya pips ambazo inaweza kaingiza kwa siku hiyo na ukaweza kuangalia je imeingiza kwa kiasi gani for the last uh, week ili uweze kufanya confirmation kwamba haiwezi kaendelea zaidi ya hizi pips remember market makers hawafanyi kazi tu without restriction kwa market makers kila pair moja wamepewa uh, wamepewa maximum yani wamepewa maximum pips ambazo wanaweza wakazi move kwa maana hiyo it is not the issue ya kwamba wanaweza waka move siku moja eti pips 2000 uh, no 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 sawa so kuna maximum pips ambazo wamepewa na most of pairs ni 250 per day sawa hiyo ni kwa siku moja pips so let's go on here lakini wewe kama wewe una uwezo wa kupata pips zaidi ya hizo kama una uwezo wa kuzitrack zile zile retracement ukaona trade mpaka retracement it means kuna more than 250 pips uh, are the lowest uh, pips za pair flani so kama unaweza ukazitrack zile retracement uh, inakuwa vizuri zaidi so let's go i think this one nimeshafanya analysis hapa unatakuwa kubai trend line inaonekana hapa chini tayari inaonyesha kuna restriction ya hizi candle kuendelea chini so it is a bullish trend let's go to nzjpy so hapa nilitumia boringa band na unaweza kuona kuna chini kuna kuna uh, kuna hizi support nimechora support kwa sababu uh, kwa sababu 
ni nje ya bibi mwei kufanya utabiri wa hapa uh, especially out of the bb uh, unaweza kaona that's why nimeamua kutumia hizi support na trend line hiyo uh, unaweza kutumika pia kwenye your stop loss so ukiangalia hapa ukiangalia ili soko ambacho kilimefanya ni kwamba kulikuwa na afbat ambao waliingia hapa kwenye kwenye hii the lowest support walibai lakini that's why nikakwambia most of time take profit katika mid bb that is mandatory take profit mandatory take profit mtp uh, mtp ipo hapo kwa maana hiyo wajanja waliingia walikuwa washatoka sokoni kipindi ambapo ile soko lina reverse linarudi tena huko chini japokuwa halikurudi kufikia kwenye kugusa stop loss zao kwa sababu waliingilia hapa kwenye kwenye hii kwenye hii uh, uh, kwenye hii uh, nini uh, this uh, support it means kwamba wali buy then wakatoka wakateki profit kwenye mid bb then wakasubiria opportunity nyingine opportunity nyingine inakuja kutengenezwa hapa chini kwenye anaza uh, kwenye 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 hii support nyingine kwao wali buy hapa kwa maana hiyo kama wali buy it means a trend is wapo kwenye profit tena it means wamechukua pips zao kaza then wamekuja wamechukua hapo kwenye profit tena that is why nakwambia it is not the issue of ku trade all the time uh, hata kama unaiona trend ni up, upward trend usikae sana sokoni ukao unashuhudia negative na positive take your profit wait for another opportunity na ambayo inafanya hivyo mara nyingi ni bbm way but if you are a swing trader mara nyingi you have to just leave it kwa sababu ukisha buy it means hautaenda kwenye negative it will keep going up 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 to your side kwa maana hiyo hapa ambacho kitatokea ni ni bullish trend because tayari tunaonyesha FMR tayari imetuambia kwamba you are going to have a bullish trend for this week. So NZ JPY you have to buy. Na what is going to be formed hapa inaenda kutengenezwa um, momentum BB ambayo ita support the bullish trend. Euro JPY I think this is our last pair. Yeah, this is our last pair for today. Eh hii nime nimeona ni kwa sijaifanyia analysis ila nimeona mwishoni kuna kuna watu walikuwa wanauliza that's why kwenye group that's why nikakumbuka nikaona nifanyie analysis ukiangalia vizuri hapa tayari kuna falling wedge leo kidogo narudi kwenye price action pattern yeah price action patterns sio kwamba wasizitumie hizi pia nazitumia ukiangalia kuna falling wedge ambayo imetengenezwa hapa what you have to wait below kabisa kuna formation ya W unaweza kaiona hapo lakini before W ilitengenezwa half bat maana hiyo watu wali buy hapo then ikarudi chini japokuwa haijaenda kuchukua stop loss zao ikaelekea tena upande wao wa faida so you have to buy at this point kuna formation ya W tayari ya BM wa FMR inatuambia you have to buy there so MR FMR napenda kuita uh, tayari natuonyesha we have to buy lakini pia ukiangalia vizuri we have uh, we have three market levels here so you have to buy uh, ini day one naweza kuangalia time frame ni day one it means hii hapa ni swing trading ni ni, ni trend ya wiki ambayo pia ni nzuri zaidi kwa swing traders kama ni skapa this is not your opportunity kwa sababu analysis iliyofanyika ni kwenye day 1 unaweza kukuta day 1 nakwambia buy kwenye 15 minutes nakwambia sell kwa maana hiyo lazima uwe very very careful hapa kwenye euro jpy kwenye euro jpy uh, at that point unaweza ukaona there is hapo kwenye point ambapo ipo kuna kama kuna kile resistance front unaweza ukakiona kwa sababu hii inatengeneza kile resistance kidogo ambacho italudi chini kidogo a few pips below then it will keep going up kwa sababu ya the second part unaweza kaiona w formation ambayo imetengenezwa kuna kwenye, kwenye price ya sasa hivi tayari kunaonekana kuna support unaweza kaangalia kwenye h4 uh, euro jpy utaiona ukiichola hapo so the current price is at uh, resistance yeah sorry at resistance but it will ita ita ludi chini kidogo kuwadanganya little traders kwamba we are going to have a downtrend then it keep going up 
so this was our last uh, pair for today and i think in pair kama 10 na ndio kazi hesabu more than 10 pairs kwa maana hiyo this is our ukiangalia matokeo ya wiki iliyopita uh, hakuna pair ambayo ilienda against for swing unaweza kuangalia euro gbp tulisell usdjpy tulibuy gbp usd tulibuy unaweza kaenda kuangalia we are still in profit lakini ukiangalia this hizi uh, ndo zilikuwa pips so many pips ukiangalia ambacho kilinishangaza mimi ni pair ya nzchf uh, iliweza ku move pips nyingi sana ambayo sio kawaida yake kwa maana hiyo you have to be very careful for this week kwenye hii pair ya nzchf nadhani nimeifanyia analysis pia apart from kujua analysis ambayo ni technical always na wakumbusha hautakiwi ku ignore what we call uh, the yeah okay hapa ni nzchf tuliseli hapa juu hapa juu unavyoona kuna m juu kabisa uh, kwenye hayo high of the day hapa unaweza kaiona hapa juu hapa ndo tuliseli hata kama unakumbuka kama una, una zile una ile video unaweza kuangalia uh, hapo ukiangalia ukiangalia vizuri hapa kuna peak formation i hapa juu na tuliseli it means paka ijuma inakuja kufunga trend ilikuwa ni downtrend na it was uh, ilikuwa ni pips nyingi sana so many pips for the week so thank you for listening na wakumbusha ambao wanahitaji kujiunga kwenye group mtajitahidi uh, kuweka linki ya group hapo unaweza uka click kwenye description lakini pia una uwezo wa kupita katika my website forex255.com kuna one minute strategy wale scalpers so you can take your kama we ni scalper unaweza kupita kule ukaweza kusoma na utajifunza vitu vingi zaidi kupitia forex255.com thanks for listening me have a nice day